And now, breaking news from your hometown station, WDBJ7. Tragedy in Carroll County. The sheriff's deputy is killed in a crash overnight. Our team coverage begins live in Carroll County. I'm Kimberly McBroom joining you live from the Carroll County Sheriff's Office on updated information on breaking news that we've been covering all night long. Of course, we're talking about the death of Carroll County Deputy Curtis Bartlett. This is a picture of him. The sheriff's office says he joined the department in 2013. Before coming to Carroll County, he served in the U.S. Army. He's also a Galax High School graduate. With. Now, the accident happened on Route 58, just off the Hillsville exit on Interstate 77. State police say Bartlett came to this scene to help a fellow deputy and a trooper with an ongoing pursuit. We have more on what happened, but first, we're going to bring in WDBJ 7's Justin Ward. Justin's been out on the story all night as well. And Justin, you've been talking with people who knew Curtis very well. How are they remembering him this morning? Kimberly, he's already being remembered as someone who was a helper. He really liked to just help people out in the community. Now, not only was he a deputy with the Carroll County Sheriff's Office, he was a personal trainer. His family is well known in the Galax and Carroll County, Grayson County area. His father's a preacher at a large church in Galax. Bartlett had deep connections in this area. Up until last year, he was a school resource officer at a county school and touched many young lives there. He also uh, was a certified canine handler and received other teaching certifications from the federal law enforcement training centers. Kimberly, the list, as you have noticed, and you've talked with the sheriff uh, just a few moments ago, the list of his accomplishments just goes on and on. Now, right now, you know, it's safe to say folks here in Carroll County and just in this region are shocked and they're grieving. Absolutely. Just a man of many talents who touched so many lives in so many different ways. No doubt he will be missed. Now, we talk with a close friend of his who had just seen him last night. Here's what he had to say. I just talked to him at 8.15 tonight. When I left the gym, because I wear a, I wear a monitor, that was my my Curtis monitor, and sent my report to him. I broke my foot last week and had surgery on my foot, and tonight was one of my first nights back in the gym. And he just said, "Nice." I always wanted to be his proudest accomplishment. Yeah, inspiring people to do their best and be their best. And we're checking now with WDBJ 7's Shane Dwyer, who is live at the scene of the crash. Now, Shane, everybody wants to know, how did this happen? Well, Kimberly, before we get to that, let me tell you about the scene right now as it stands. The crash scene was cleared just a few hours after the crash last evening. So at this point, traffic is open and cars are flowing through this morning as morning rush hour starts to begin here. The only thing that's really left any remnants of there being a crash here is the spray paint that is down on the ground where the state police crash reconstruction team marked out some of the evidence down on the ground. Let's go ahead and take a look at a map so you can see exactly where this is. This all happened right at exit 14 off southbound Interstate 77. So that's the Galax side of Interstate 77. This is the Hillsville Galax exit, the main interchange for this area. You're taking a look at the intersection right now. Traffic flowing through it. I'll explain for you what state police say happened. You can see the do not enter wrong way signs off into the upper part of your screen. That is where the southbound off ramp of Interstate 77 is. A tractor trailer was coming down that ramp and had a green light. That tractor trailer driver was attempting to make a left going toward Hillsville. And right now where you see the there was a, there was going to be a car that came through here but on basically on the left side of the screen uh, the trooper the deputy was coming from right to left across your screen as that car is coming right now going toward Galax and that's where he clipped the back end of the tractor trailer there in the middle of the intersection the deputy was wearing his seatbelt and we do know that the uh, tractor trailer did not receive any injuries at this point we don't know his status other than that uh, the two people that were being chased by police that this deputy was going to assist with that chase. The driver and the passenger were later caught a little while down the road. Kimberly, we don't know a whole lot of other details other than what I've just told you at this point, and we're hoping to hear more from state police. The sheriff's office has told us that state police will be handling most of the investigation for this and giving us all the details so that we can pass it on to you. Yeah, and again, this just happened last night, so still many more details to come out. All right, Shane, thank you so much. And Kristen, as you've been hearing, Deputy Bartlett touched so many people. This is very much a community in mourning. We're to talk in just a few minutes with Sheriff John Gardner more about the department's loss. And you talked with him just uh, about 15 minutes ago. The more we learn about yeah. the deputy, the more difficult this news is. Kimberly, thanks. We'll see you in just a few minutes.
Good morning. I'm Kimberly McBroom coming to you live from Carroll County, where a community is in mourning today. They are mourning Deputy Curtis Bartlett, who was killed in a crash last night while helping some other fellow officers. And joining me right now is Carroll County Sheriff John Gardner, who knew him very, very well, worked closely. First of all, our condolences to your loss and to the loss of your department this morning. Thank you very much. And you knew him well. You're telling me a little bit about him. Uh, he was uh, he was he had special relationship in his life. Such a great young man. Yeah. He's he's been with us for uh, full time for about a year. He was an SRO for the first semester of the school year. Finally got onto the road working, and uh, I think he had a special interest in his life uh, in Australia that he had just been back from visiting. So. It's kind of a tragedy. He's such a good young man. Good, yeah, good all guy. the way around. You said that he had yes. served in the military, served with you all. Um, talk to me a little bit about what kind of employee he was. What kind of officer was he? He was an exceptional employee. Um, he was very good in the school with the kids and good with the people in the community that he worked with. Uh, just an all-around good-natured young man. And, you know, of course, this just happened several hours ago. What have you all gathered as far as, like, how this happened? He got the call, and one of our gentlemen, uh, one of the other officers, was in a pursuit, and uh, the pursuit continued, and the vehicle wrecked, and Curtis was trying to get to the other officers that were in foot pursuit with a suspect. It's just one of those things that happens, it's, unfortunately, in the line of duty. It's horrible, but it happens, and, and it's going to continue to happen. We've got to catch bad guys. That's yeah. what he does. That's, that's what his parents kept saying. That's what he did, and that is what he was doing. Just a good young man. Uh, an exceptional guy and such a tragedy in our community. Yeah. And how do you all move forward from this kind of loss? The answer is I don't know the answer to that question yet. We're we're going to do it one day at a time. We've got counselors coming in and uh, state police stepped up and are helping cover calls. Grayson County with County are up covering calls. Galax City Police Department, Hillsville Police Department. So we've had a lot of support so far from folks that are willing to help. All right, and Sheriff, again, our condolences. So sorry for your loss. Thank we'll you. talk with you a little bit later on thank the newscast. All right, Christian, back to you there in the studio. All right, Kim, thank you so much. You, Shane, Justin, all out there. We'll check back in with you in a, a little bit. Tragedy in Carroll County. A sheriff's deputy's life is lost in a crash overnight. It was an inspiration to people they worked with, uh, inspiration to the people in the community. He flew helicopters and he fought. It's just hard to believe. You know, he was Superman. Remembering the life of Deputy Curtis Bartlett in this special edition of WDBJ 7 at 6. Good evening, I'm Jean Jad. I'm live with team coverage here from Carroll County, where this community is heartbroken after the loss of one of its own, Deputy Curtis Bartlett killed in a crash last night. You can see behind me, black ribbon on a sheriff's deputy's car out here in front of the sheriff's office as a way to remember a fallen comrade. It was last night at about 10 o'clock that Curtis Bartlett was heading west on Route 58, coming up on the interchange with Interstate 77. At the exact same time, a tractor trailer was exiting the interstate. The two vehicles collided and Deputy Bartlett was killed. The driver of the tractor trailer was not her and we are told is not facing charges. State police do say that Deputy Bartlett had his lights and sirens going at the time of that crash. Now, we can tell you that Deputy Bartlett was well known in this community, 32 years old, had been serving on the force since June of 2013, also a U.S. Army veteran and a graduate of Galax High School, grew up here in this area. Bartlett also worked in the Carroll County School District as a community resource officer, most particularly in one of the elementary schools, Hillsville Ele Elementary School. He also ran his own business as a personal trainer. WDBJ 7's Tim Saunders has been covering that part of the story, and he joins me now. Tim, it sounds like Deputy Bartlett certainly touched a lot of lives. Well, Jean, someone stopped me here in Carroll County today, and they said, if you talk about Curtis Bartlett, make sure you tell people that he had a heart that was bigger than his body. Wow. And he was a pretty big guy. He was really yeah. into physical fitness, sure. but he also had a really big impact on this community. Whether he was walking the halls with his canine Tycho or hanging out with students in a teddy bear parade, teachers at Hillsville Elementary School say they could always count on Curtis Bartlett to brighten their day. He was so positive. I mean, he smiled. Every time you saw him, he had a smile on his face. Bartlett was a school resource officer for every Carroll County Elementary School, but he spent most of his time in Hillsville working with teachers like Lucy Nottingham. He took life by the horns and he was going to wring every bit of enjoyment out of it he could. Bartlett's attitude is one of the reasons Ron Passmore hired him last year to be his personal trainer. He had a way to motivate me. He, he really um, 
taught me more about myself uh, and my abilities and what I could or couldn't do. With Bartlett's guidance and persuasion, Passmore has lost 100 pounds over the last eight months. I really credit him with saving my life. Bartlett also defended lives in the United States Army. A flag from his time in Iraq sets in a makeshift memorial at Hillsville Elementary. He flew helicopters and he fought. You know, he was Superman. Teachers at Hillsville yes. wore ribbons in his honor Friday. Students drew pictures and wrote notes in cards to work through their grief. They considered him a hero. We felt very safe, very protected. Friday was a time to honor Bartlett's memory. Students at Hillsville Elementary did that by eating one final piece of candy from a dish Bartlett kept in his office. Passmore says he'll honor Bartlett by staying on that fitness journey they started together. I'm not going to stop the journey. Uh, I have to finish this for him and carry on his legacy as best I can. I still want him to be proud of me. Passmore says that he talked to Bartlett on the phone just a few hours before the accident last night. Now, Passmore had recently suffered an injury. He wasn't able to keep up with his workout regimen, but he had just gotten back into that gene right before the accident happened. And so he told Bartlett that he had just gotten a workout done on one leg. He said Bartlett gave him some really encouraging words, right. words that he is always going to keep with him now when he does that workout and, and forever. Wow, he certainly made an impact, and we are going to hear more about how he impacted some very young lives, too. Tim, thank you for that report. Here in Carroll County, deputies are mourning the loss of one of their own. They have been helped by members of different departments from the surrounding area, Grayson County, Floyd County, With County, and the Galax Police Department, all coming in to help run dispatch and run calls so that the members of the Carroll County Department can mourn the loss and really process what has gone on. As we said, Deputy Bartlett went to Galax High School. He graduated in 2003. WDBJ 7's Hannah Story spoke with some of his coaches about the impact that they had on his life and how they were mentors to him. Yes, Jean, they, they were his coaches all throughout high school, and right. they had nothing but good things to say about him from as, his athletic ability to his intelligence to just who he was as a person, and they say that he even taught them a thing or two. A Galax High School grad, Curtis Bartlett didn't just learn from his coaches, but he also taught them. He set a legacy that for we all that we could try to follow, and that's about helping people being the best that you can be, and that's all you could ever do. He played basketball and football and had a love for music. He was a role model and a friend to all. They say he didn't know a stranger. He was a blessing to our community and, and uh, uh, always someone that everyone was looking up to. Even in high school, he was putting others first. They say he never changed who he was. Whatever he said was the way it was. He was a Christian. Uh, you could always depend on him. You know, there was never a time where you had to worry whether you were the Curtis would be there. His coaches say there wasn't a day that he wasn't joking around and making people laugh. He's going to be missed so much. It's 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 just hard to believe because you know people like that they just go through the world and they they make it better. It's a brighter place when he's right. They say they'll miss him so very much because of how involved he was in this community. And Gene, they say that he'll mi they'll miss his smile and his laugh the most. You know, we keep hearing people talk about that huge smile yeah. and that personality that just mm -hmm. made it so easy to be friends with this guy. So, you know, what a loss here for this community. Hannah, thanks yes. for that perspective mm -hmm. from his alma mater, Galax High School. Deputy Bartlett also influenced one young Galax boy who is fighting for his life. This is quite an amazing part of this story. WDBJ 7's Eamon O'Mara joins us live tonight from Galax. Uh, Eamon, I understand that Deputy Bartlett meant a lot to the family of a young boy named Mighty Max. Exactly, Jean. Max's mother, Emily Brown, tells me that she knew Curtis when they were in school together, but they had fallen a bit out of touch until her son Max got sick. Bartlett immediately stepped up to support the four-year-old. Max was diagnosed last January with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. In February, when members of police and fire crews shaved their heads in honor of Max, so did Bartlett. But he wasn't here at the time. He was serving overseas in Iraq. Brown tells me losing someone that close to the family is very hard. We always um, 
mourn the loss of a policeman, but a friend is very hard. And I've tried not to be sad for ourselves. I'm way more sad for his family. I'm devastated for his mom and dad and his siblings. Now, Bartlett was a canine officer, and his dog, who survived la in last night's crash, is now say staying with Brown's sister and brother-in-law, who is also a canine officer. Now, shaving his head isn't the only thing Bartlett did when he was overseas. Gene, tonight at 11, I'll tell you what special gift he brought back for young Max and what it meant to his family. All right, Amen. we look forward to that story. Thank you for that. We are told that funeral arrangements are still in the works. They have not been finalized yet. Deputy Curtis Bartlett, 32 years old, a tweet this afternoon from the National Sheriff's Association sending condolences to everyone here in Carroll County as an entire community, the state, and really uh, nationwide law enforcement mourning the loss and sending sympathies to here in Carroll County. Robin. What an emotional day and some amazing stories. Gene, thank you very much. We will have continuing coverage on air and online at WDBJ7.com.